Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a screen replacement on the Huawei Nova Plus. So this is what the part should look like. It's the LCD digitizer and glass assembly. And these are the tools that you'll need. A heat gun, a metal spudger, a plastic spudger, some tweezers, a Phillips screwdriver, a pentalobe screwdriver, some double-sided adhesive, as well as a razor blade. So first you want to take out the SIM tray. Then we're going to grab the pentalobe screwdriver and take out the two bottom screws holding the back metal housing on. Grab your razor blade and slowly work in between the plastic frame and the metal housing to release the clips that are holding the metal frame in place. Once you've released all the clips, you can open up the phone. You'll want to be very careful as there is a little ribbon for the fingerprint reader on the back of the frame. So you will want to disconnect that before completely removing the metal frame. So we're going to grab our Phillips screwdriver and remove the two Phillips screws that are holding down the charge port ribbon, the LCD ribbon, and the battery. So we'll grab a plastic spudger and kind of slowly work your way underneath it. It is a little bit adhered. Now we can disconnect the LCD, the battery, and the charge port ribbons here from the motherboard. And now we'll start making our way down to the bottom area where we will remove the loudspeaker. There's three Phillips screws holding it down, and three other screws holding down the charge port. So we'll grab the plastic spudger, disconnect the cellular antenna, remove that last Phillips screw, and grab the plastic spudger again and remove the metal plate holding down the connections for the loudspeaker and the charge port ribbon. So we'll disconnect the loudspeaker and then slowly pry up from the bottom to remove the speaker. So now we're going to grab our heat gun to remove the glass from the plastic frame. So heat up the top and the bottom the most. Those are the parts that are most adhered. And then just slowly work your way around. I like to use a razor blade because it's a lot more precise and will get in between the glass and the plastic without really damaging the plastic too much as we are reusing that plastic frame with the new screen. So this part just takes a bunch of patience, just slowly work your way around, keep the glass hot, just keep warming it up now and then to make sure that it stays warm so the glass releases a lot easier. You can use a guitar pick or even a card or something to keep the adhesive and the plastic frame away from each other so they don't re-adhere. Now we're going to jump back down to the charge port area to remove the charge port as it's a little in the way of the LCD ribbon. Use a plastic spudger to release the clips and a little bit of adhesive and the plastic spudger to remove the little metal plate that's holding down the LCD ribbon. So now we can safely remove the glass and the LCD from the plastic frame. So now I'm just going to go around the edges with the metal spudger to make sure that there's no adhesive and no little chunks of glass. Um, little chunks of glass on there can actually crack or give little hairline fractures to the new screen if it's not properly removed. So I like to go all around the edges and just scrape as much as the adhesive and the glass chunks and particles off as possible. So 
So once you're satisfied with how clean the frame is, we're going to go back to the original LCD and just remove the little speaker mesh that's on the original screen and put it in place on the plastic frame. And now we can grab our double-sided adhesive and just put it along the sides here. Up in the top here, just make sure that you're careful around the front-facing cameras and your proximity sensor and ear speaker. You're just going to want to make sure you leave those holes open and don't cover them with any adhesive. Otherwise, you might have issues with those parts. Grab your tweezers and now you can start removing the plastic for the double-sided adhesive. So now we can grab the new screen and fish the little LCD ribbon through the hole on the plastic frame. Push the screen into place near the bottom and before you fully adhere the screen down just make sure that that little metal speaker mesh is properly lined up. And once that's lined up you can push it into place and then push along the sides make sure everywhere is adhered properly make sure that the LCD ribbon isn't pinched at all. So now that we're done that, we can start putting the phone back together. So we're going to go down to the charge port area. So there's a small little ribbon here. I'm not exactly sure what the point of this little guy is, but just make sure that he is flipped and adhered down like that before you put the metal plate over top of the LCD ribbon. So now I can grab the charge port, screw the two Phillips screws in that are securing the charge port in place, grab the loudspeaker, put it into place, and then connect it. Then grab the metal plate for the LCD ribbon and screw it into place. Grab the three Phillips screws for the loudspeaker and secure that down as well. So now we can connect the cellular antenna wire, And then we will connect the charge port ribbon, the LCD ribbon, and the battery. Grab the metal plate and the two Phillips screws holding the metal plate down. Now we can grab the metal back frame and connect the fingerprint reader. And now you can clip the frame into place. So once the frame's clipped into place, you can grab the two pentalobe screws and screw them into the bottom by the charge port. Grab your SIM tray, put it in, and you're done. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe. And yeah, bye.